Here's a thought. Hmm. If there was a prize for most screenwriting credits, we'd have one of those, unfortunately, he can't be here with us tonight moments. That's because the winner, with over a thousand, is William Shakespeare. But how can a man who died long before the invention of cinema have racked up so many credits? Simple, by creating the most moving, exciting and enduring stories ever written. Shakespeare showed us what it means to be human. We've all been lovesick or heartbroken, like Romeo and Juliet, or felt Macbeth's burn of greed and ambition. And who hasn't experienced jealousy like Othello? No wonder artists around the globe are still eager to adapt Will's works. So how will the British Council mark the 400th anniversary of Shakespeare's death in 2016? By bringing him back to life? Not exactly. But we are planning an international celebration of his life's work called Shakespeare Lives, a global programme of events and activities bringing the UK's number one cultural icon to everyone. When they were first staged, Shakespeare's plays transported his audiences to far-flung corners of the world, from a castle in Scotland to the plains of Syria, from the canals of Venice to a royal palace in Egypt. At a time when most people's travels were limited by how far they could walk, Shakespeare's plays brought the world to the London stage. Today, his influence is truly global. You'll find him in Hollywood blockbusters and Bollywood musicals, and his works have been translated into over a hundred languages. Shakespeare has inspired visionaries, including Nelson Mandela and the Beatles. There's even been a production of Hamlet performed in Klingon. His 37 plays and 154 sonnets have added over 3,000 words and hundreds of idioms to the English language. They've even changed the way we think about humanity, ethics, and ourselves. With over half the world's schoolchildren studying Shakespeare, his influence continues to shape modern society and culture. Yes, he may have died 400 years ago, but Shakespeare lives. So, citizens of the world, doff your cap to the glovemaker's son from Stratford-upon-Avon and join us in celebrating the life and works of the world's favourite playwright.